Sweetie, I'm home. Baby? 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 Hey. Wait, can I come near you? What? Are you okay? What happened? You don't have to talk about it right now. Can I hold you? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, baby. No, it's okay. It's fine if you cry. Wait, you wanna listen you wanna lay on me? Yeah, lay on me. Hmm? Come here. Do you want a blanket? You can cry as long as you want. It's okay. You don't have to tell me right now. Would you like me to scratch your head? And rub your back? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. No, it's okay, baby. I was coming home to you anyway. I don't have anything to do. So it's okay. <sighs> Something bad must have really happened, huh? Mm. It's okay. You can tell me whenever you're ready. You don't have to rush it. You want to? I guess, yeah, it would make you feel better if you did. So? <laughs> what happened? You just feeling... feeling weird? What do you mean by weird? Just... Not yourself? Mm. Um... You mean like... Like... You're seeing yourself from the outside or... You're lonely? No, it does make sense. Um, like, like you're, even if you're in a crowded room, you still feel alone? Kind of, kind of like that feeling? Yeah, I understand that feeling. And I've had it a couple times. How many times have you felt it? Felt this way, like... A while? Oh, it comes time to time. Okay. Yeah, the same thing happens to me. It was just a little extra for you today. Extra feeling. Mm. No, it's okay. <laughs> Baby, you don't have to keep apologizing to me. People feel this way all the time, and sometimes it affects people differently. You don't have to hold all these feelings in. Like, I'm here for you if you need me to, need to talk to me, not as your girlfriend, but like as a friend. Or you can even go to the extent of me being a stranger. I'm here to listen to you. And sometimes I don't even need to respond. 
I can just hear you get it all out and hold you while you do it. And if you need to cry, you can cry on me. I'll comfort you anytime you need me to. Yes, I will. I promise. I promise. And you can call me. Even if I'm at work, even if it's something important, even if I'm in the office just doing some kind of work or report or something, you can come to me. I can take a break. I have all night to do this type of stuff. I don't have any time, time like deadlines or anything like that. You can, you can come to me. Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. We don't. We're not always happy all the time. Sometimes there's fall, there's like downfalls. There's dips in our what what is it emotions. <laughs> Yeah, even if, even if you need to take a nap, I can take a nap. I can use a nap anytime. You just call me, whether I'm in the house or not, and I'll come, and we can take a nap on the couch. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you're laughing. Are you feeling a little better? Mm hmm I'm glad. I'm happy for you. I'm glad you feel this comfortable around me, though. Not gonna lie. It kind of feels nice that you can, you can, like, confide in me. Mm hmm <laughs> Well, no. <laughs> Why would I enjoy you crying? <laughs> no, I don't enjoy you crying, but it's it's nice to see that side of you, I guess. And that side of you wanting to be in my arms when you're in this in this state. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's an emotion. It's a type of feeling. Like, you have someone hmm, that needs you in a, in a way that, I can, like, like I said, it's hard to explain the feeling. But it's like somebody, somebody is relying on you. To help them feel better sometimes and it's, it's it's the same way back and forth between each other so I guess it's kind of ties into the word love but <laughs> you know it's a good feeling I don't know if that I don't know if that sounded wrong like I'm taking pleasure out of your sadness, but that's not my intention. It's just, I'm happy that you can be, the, like I said, be this comfortable with me. And everyone cries. I mean, like, people that say you shouldn't cry because of your, because you're a guy. It makes no sense because it's just going to eat away at you until something bad happens, you know, so I I'm glad that you're not scared to cry in front of me. That's what I'm, that's what I, that's what my point is because sometimes I am scared to cry in front of you. 
<laughs> yeah, my sister has said that. She said that I look like a baby, an actual baby when I cry, but <laughs> it's, it's kind of like it's a vulnerable state. So I'm kind of worried to cry in front of you because I'm supposed to be your strong partner, I guess. <laughs> But sometimes we just need to relieve ourselves. It's a good feeling. And then afterwards, we get so sleepy. <laughs> I get so sleepy after crying. Especially after a good cry. It, I get so sleepy. <laughs> Are you sleepy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We get so sleepy, and sometimes like I can't sleep at night, and I think it's because I'm stressed out because I haven't thought about it or like really sat down and thought about my feelings or my emotions or things that is happening in my life. So it's a really good nap after I cry. <laughs> Yeah, if you're sleepy, you can go to sleep on me. I can use a nap after coming home from work. Mm. I do, I do like kissing you on your forehead. Like in this type of state, I think kisses on the forehead are very significant they're like precious more than kisses anywhere else i think it's it's a a comforting feeling to be kissed on the forehead and someone rub running their fingers through your hair <laughs> yeah yes i'll kiss you on your forehead as you go to sleep and I'll squeeze you, and I'll tell you I love you, <laughs> and I'm happy to be with you, because you're my love. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, go to sleep. I'll be here when you wake up.